Hey guys, it's Tom Triple Seventeen back for another video. Well, first video of Minecraft, Minecraft stuff, um, part one, and um, I'm just gonna be doing some cool stuff in creative, and I'm just gonna be showing you guys some cool stuff, um, cool stuff, which is gonna be the seed. And these videos are just really short, you know, they're just small tip videos that are just gonna show you some things that you may not know about Minecraft. Some things are really weird, but they're just going to be like five minute long videos. But anyway, let's just find a good place to start, which I think I'll just do it right here. So for this one that I'm going to show you today, I'm you're going to need a fence. You can use another fence if you want. doesn't matter. You're going to need a sheep spawner. Um, for those of you who know this, you just, just, it doesn't matter. I mean, sorry if this is really obvious. You're gonna need a name tag if you have that update, an anvil, and um, pretty sure that that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, so let's just build a small sort of sheep fence type thing, and um, put a sheep in there. And now get this anvil over here, and now you're gonna put this name tag in. Click here, and then just type in. Type in Jeb, all lowercase, and then this is gonna go there. So take it out, and it should look like this. And then when you hold it, it just looks like this. Now right click it on the sheep, and now you got a sheep called Jeb that is multicolored and spins in different colors. So yeah, that's the first trick that we're gonna be watching today. And now let's get into another one. For this one, you're gonna need um, no sheep spawner. Uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate using a zombie pigman and a skeleton and probably a ghast. But let's just build another um, another sort of sh shaded thing because we're using a skeleton. We're gonna have to make this one shaded just so that it doesn't burn, um, so that the skelly doesn't burn. So um, just put your zombie pigman in there. Now you're going to put in your anvil, you're going to get another name tag, and this time you're going to call it, um, I'm pretty sure it's, um, Grum, like that, um, Grum, and then with that at the end, so it should look like that, I don't know, and then you just right click it, no, I did something wrong, I did something wrong, um, I think I know what I've done, Grum, let me rename it. Grum. Grum. What's happening? Why isn't it doing it? Um, Grum. Maybe it's with a capital G. Grum. Like that. It has to be. It can't not be. There we go. So it turns the mob upside down. And it calls it Grum. Which is kind of weird. And now if you want to do this one with a um, sort of skeleton or a zombie, you're going to have to shade it, which I'm just going to do. I'm not going to put the fences around. I'm just going to spawn myself a skelly, put grum on it, and there we go. And you can do that with any mob you want, even with a gas, and it looks kind of weird because it's an upside-down gas. But anyway, that's my short tutorial for the weird stuff. This is the part one, and I'll show you another weird thing in part two. Thank you guys for watching this video.